and welcome to Naya in Kilab News. Jams and updates on all the major stories. I'm Hina. Let's begin with the headlines. Bajrang Dal members staged protest against Valentine's Day in Hyderabad and requested the government to declare February 14 as Amar Jawan Divas. Hyderabad woke up to a cold and foggy morning on Sunday. However, as the day progressed, the temperature rose as well. The average minimum temperature in the city was 14.1 degrees Celsius, which is at least 4 degrees less than normal. A case has been booked against a city-based businessman for sacrifice of 101 goats, the People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, PETA. India made a complaint with the Rain Bazaar police station stating that the act amounts to cruelty against animals. A girl wearing hijab will become the Prime Minister of the country one day. AIMM Chief Asaduddin Owaisi has said amid the controversy over Muslim women's headscarves. An auto rickshaw driver died by suicide at his house in Banjara Hills on Sunday. The man, identified as Sayed bin Mubarak, 40, was married to Shaheen Begum in 2005 and the couple along with their children lived at a rented house in First Lancer under Banjara Hills police station limits. Rajasthan Royals took to social media to share a screenshot of their Instagram chat with leg spinner Yuzvendra Chahal, who was brought by Rajasthan franchisee for Rs 6.5 crore in the IPL mega auction. In the chat, Chahal tells the admin that he is looking forward to meet them. He also jokingly mentioned to them that they weren't following them. Fans spotted Deepika Padukone's sister. Anisha is one of the childhood frames in Gehraya sharing snippets on social media. A fan commented, I don't know if it's her idea or the director's but I absolutely love it when something like this happens. Picture with her father in cocktail in 2012 to a picture with Anisha in Gehraya in 2022. Rajasthan Royals took to social media to share Joss Butler's welcome message for Ravi Chandran Ashwin after the all-rounder was bought by the Rajasthan franchisee for Rs 5 crore. Hey Ash, Josh here. Don't worry, I'm inside the crease. Can't wait to see you in pink for the Royals. Look forward to sharing a dressing room with you. Halla bol, Butler said. A 22-year-old differently abled woman has alleged that Rasta in Gurugram denied her entry and shared the incident's video. Staffer told us, pointing towards me, and the customers disturb ho jayenge. She tweeted, Rasta's manager said she wasn't denied service. And the customers disturb ho jayenge. She tweeted, Rasta's manager said she wasn't denied service, adding, we couldn't let her go inside because there was a lot of rush. A wheelchair could harm her. A 76-year-old daily wage laborer is all set to contest elections for Odisha Panchayat polls without any financial support. Jabahari Barik, a daily wage labourer from Malla Sahi Gram Panchayat under Zone 1 of Kujang Block in Jagat Singhpur district has filed his nomination papers as an independent candidate for Sarpanch post. Punjab Chief Minister Charanjit Singh Janni hit out at Delhi CM Arvind Kejriwal claiming that the latter had tried to level several false allegations against him. Charanjit Singh Janni's remark followed after he got a clean shit by the Roper administration in the illegal mining case on Saturday. In the backdrop of the hijab saffron shawl controversy, Udupi District Administration has imposed Section 144 of CRPC within 200 meters radius of the high schools in the district. Daily new COVID-19 cases in the country dipped below 50,000 after around 40 days, taking the country's virus tally to 4 crores 26 lakhs 31,421, while the active cases declined to 5 lakhs 37,045, according to the Union Health Ministry data updated on Sunday. Trinamul Congress Supremo Mamta Banerjee on Saturday abolished all senior level executive posts in her party at an emergency meeting to remove a division between old and new guards over the call of one person, one post given by her MP nephew Abhishek Banerjee and a rift with election strategist Prashant Kishore and his consultancy firm Indian Political Action Committee, IPAC. 
a picture of five whale sharks feeding on nocturnal plankton gathered around the lights of a boat in the Maldives has won Spanish photographer Rafael Fernandez Caballero, the underwater photographer of the year 2022 award. The photographer titled the picture Dancing with the Giants of the Night. The UK-based annual competition received a submission of over 4,200 underwater images. There is no doubt about the fact that Alu Arjun starrer Pushpa, The Rise, is a massive hit. The Pushpa fever is still running high even after the film's release last year. The internet is brimming with reels of people either dancing to its catchy songs or lip-syncing to Alu Arjun's popular dialogues. Now a video of a South Korean woman dancing to the song Sami Sami with an Indian woman has gone viral online and it is just too good to miss.